Hey guys, it's Jerome Jr. and this week's video I'm going to be reviewing Clips Reference R51M Bookshelf Speakers. Um, my last video that you guys see was the R41Ms, which is the 4 inch version. Um, right here, these are the 5 inch and a quarter uh, version. So let me jump right into it. Same format as last video, let's see what's in the box. So just like normal, you get yourself the quick setup guide, all the information, the booklet, and you get the rubber feet. Um, so where you have these mounted down, there's no vibration and they stay sturdy. Let's put that off to the side. And now uh, let's, let's get right into these. As always, do a nice job of packing the chain. Let's pull one of these out. Oh. Slide that back here. And boom. Here it is, guys. Now let me go ahead and jump into the specifications of this. Go ahead and move this one out of the way. All right, so right off the bat, let me give you the dimensions. This speaker stands 13.3 inches high. It has a width of seven inches. And the depth is just eight and a half inches. Um, so it's still pretty small, just a slightly bigger than the um, R41Ms, which is the four inch version. And it is finished in the black texture wood grain veneer, which is like my favorite finish on clip speakers. The grill is magnetize which is awesome they clips is kind of doing this on all their reference line speakers um now let me tell you the frequency response the frequency response on these guys they get down as low as 62 hertz um and they go up as far as 21 kilohertz um they handle 85 watts rms okay or continuous whichever way you want to say it and they handle a max or a peak at 340 watts. Uh, so they definitely handle significantly way more power than the four inch uh, variants of this speaker. Um, and yeah, so let me go ahead and jump right into uh, the demo. Let me tell you guys how I have these set up. The way I'm running them is I have them on top of my floor standing speakers. Um, Floor stand speakers are unplugged. Both of them was unplugged. Center channel was unplugged. Um, and the subwoofers are off. I have uh, these um, R51Ms plugged in as the front channel. So the main channels on the receiver. Uh, so it's only going to be them two running right now. Um, if you've seen my R41M review, I'm going to play... Um, the same jazz song just for if you guys just came off that video you can kind of hear the difference and see which one you think sonically sound better or which one fits your taste um, and then I'm going to also play some other tracks
All right, guys. Well, that basically wraps up the sound demo um, for the R51Ms. I uh, hope you got to actually be able to hear them. I know you only can hear so much through, you know, the mic camera. Um, but definitely, 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 uh, these things sound great. They really do sound much better than the R41Ms. Um, the R41Ms, which I recently did a video on, blew my mind. I wasn't expecting such a small speaker to produce the sound that they did. And these, being slightly bigger driver, performed even better. The sound profile of the R51Ms, to me, they sound very warm. Um, warm and a lot more balanced than I will say the um, r 41 Amps. To me, the way the sound came out of these, without any EQ or anything, sounded more of what you would expect from like the floor standing speakers. Um, just off the fact that it's just the driver size, you know, it's no replacement for displacement, right? And in this term, I'm talking about woofer cone um, area, so the surface area. Uh, so yeah, yeah, definitely. I would recommend these to any person who, you know, want to go ahead and use these in a small, even a medium sized room. I feel like these would do good in because in my medium sized room, you can say these, they got loud. They got loud. Um, they handled the power that I was pushing towards them and they got loud and they sounded good doing it. They're rear ported and you can feel it, it was moving air. Um, it, it, it definitely sounded really nice. Um, it wasn't too bright to where it hurt your ears. It just sounded just right. That sounds weird to say, but it sounded just right. Um, definitely can see people that have a racket player using these um, or just running them without a sub. But even when I ran them with the sub, it was just crazy how well it complemented it. Being that that's a 12 inch sub that I'm running with two five and a quarter drivers with horns, you know what I mean? And it's not even turned down to take an effect that those are smaller drivers. I have them set up for these tower speakers and it handled it pretty well. Um, yeah, I really would pick these up. If you guys are in the market of a bookshelf speaker, need something to run as rear surrounds, they will get the job done, no doubt. Um, but that basically wraps up the review, guys. If you guys have any questions, definitely drop drop it down below, comment, you know, and subscribe. You know, and uh, I do have a comparison video coming soon between these guys right in front of us, the R51Ms, and the R41Ms. So subscribe, stay tuned. Got plenty more content coming up, and yeah, Jerome Jr. is out.